Welcome to Coffee and Resales. My name's Ryan, and I get stuff at yard sales, thrift stores, garage sales, rummage sales, flea markets, and estate sales like this morning. Try to flip some stuff, make a few extra bucks online. Had a big miss, but that's okay because it went to a buddy. Anyway, uh, before we get to that, we're going to go over yesterday's sales, which were fine. And then we're going to go over the stuff I got yesterday at the thrift store and this morning at an estate sale. And I'm hoping in ongoing Fridays that around this time, 9.30, 10 a.m., maybe even a little bit later Eastern, is why I'll live stream on Fridays and show you what I got. That's the plan. And we know what Mike Tyson says about plans. So, uh, let's get on with the sales. I think I messed up on this one eBay did a weird thing where the guy offered five bucks plus shipping and invoiced him five bucks. But anyway, got him out the door. A couple of pair of mad books. Um, I put them up for nine ninety nine. I just need to get rid of them. Um, I actually don't mind the sale. Uh, I wish I could have gotten six minimum. That's kind of my real minimum on that stuff, and I should have pushed that. Uh, but I need the sales volume, so. Uh, to help me get back to I'm not top rated I want to be top rated but I have always have like I, I sell just little enough that one mistake messes me up and that's where that's where I've been sick for about a year um, and I'd love to get back to top rated anyway uh, so yeah five bucks for that but I think I could have gotten six or seven and I messed up anyway uh, but that's fine alright next up is now this sister sister it's sort of an 80s horror again sold this for seven bucks been sitting on this way too long uh i think it was i think i got it at the quarter bin which is why i snagged it uh or i thought it was going to sell for more than i got for a buck but anyway i am making money on this one so seven bucks this is a facebook sale which is why seven bucks i'm a lot more fine with seven bucks than i am with an ebay sale where seven dollars is like you're Okay, you're making 50 cents or something, but uh, seven bucks on Facebook Marketplace. I'm actually making like two bucks on this book, so that's fine. Uh, next up, we're going with we want to do this one. Oh, that one. We're gonna go this one. Robert Jordan, Winter's Heart, Wheel of Time series, 12 bucks. I actually saw I, I've got two of these, um, and there was some writing on the inside front cover. I had it on one auction and not on the other, um, and this one actually got sent back to me because the guy was mad that he had that had the writing on the inside front. So I reposted it. Actually, I upped my quantity to two. Sold this one for twelve bucks, and so uh, still, I will always buy Wheel of Time books because they almost always because I've. Almost, I think I'm sitting on one or two right now that haven't sold for three months. Uh, but I've got like 100% success rate selling those between the 10, 10 and $15 for our hardcovers and minimum seven or eight bucks for paperbacks. And, and I, I sell the paperback lots for more and get better money for them. So Wheel of Time books, again, get them. Uh, next up. This is a fun old book. Uh, this is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This is a 1911 book. This sold for $15. It's a little rough. Uh, the binding's a little off. There's a couple of loose pages. 1911. Buy old books. Uh, Pre-war. I paid probably 50 cents all in on this one. So 15 bucks. Gonna wrap it up real good. And get it out and should be good with that one. Uh, this finally? We'll see if this is finally. A boonie hat. You're like, hey, here's a boonie hat. 20 bucks. Why is this boonie hat 20 bucks? Look at that. Vietnam era tiger striping. I don't know if this is technically a Vietnam era hat. It does have the mil spec style tag in it. So it still has the leather piece on it um it's a little loved but 
it's still in good shape. I like these hats. I actually have one or two. Um, they're great winter time. And when you're selling the flea market and it's a little chilly out, these are great. Uh, so, anyway, boonie hats. Military boonie hats. I don't tend to pay more than a dollar a piece on these. But if it's a dollar and it's in good shape, I'm grabbing it and I'm not even looking it up. Um, I've got a big pile of smaller sizes right here that they're trickling out one or two a month uh, of newer newer style camo ones. So, uh, good good finds, good buys. $19.99. 19 bucks. Uh, finally, I'm waiting for somebody to pay for this one. Uh, this, I think this went for eight or ten bucks. Let me see. And I thought eBay had a, had a forced payment, but I think this is also an international sale, so that may break the rules a little bit. Uh, so we're going to see if this one gets paid for. Uh, Prayer Book of Mechino de Paciso by Patricia Corbett. Uh, Fifteen bucks. Pretty little book in a slipcover. Uh, slipcover books are worth thinking about snagging. Usually the book in the inside is really nice. It's like felt. Pretty felt oh, book. I don't know. Nice slip cover. 15 bucks. Picked it up for a buck at a thrift store. I think I remember getting that. Okay. Quick on a, a quick bit on what I just listed. And then we'll get to sales and then we'll get to fines. What I just listed. Um, sort of death poly stuff yesterday. I grabbed some stuff. Welcome back, Cotter. Two paperbacks, $9.99. I'm going to take six bucks or, uh, or higher on these. Uh, this is a fun uh, Planet Builder. I think this is almost like a choose your own adventure type books. Planet Builders. Uh, two paperbacks, $9.99 for the pair. Uh, see if I can't get them moved. They've been sitting a while, so you're kind of stuck with them. Uh, Battlestar Galactica paperbacks. One of these is like the comic booky one by Marvel, and the other is just a regular paperback. $9.99 for the pair. And this is 15 bucks for all four of these. Isaac Asimov, light them up. 15 bucks for the batch. We'll see if that goes. I have, usually have pretty good success lighting up and selling Asimov books. So, uh, and. Oh, oh, that's a find from yesterday. So that's what I've got listed. That's what I've got sold. Now let's see what we got found. Yesterday, I went to the thrift store. Uh, bought a handful of books uh, to either keep or flip. Um, a couple of Brandon Sanderson novels. If you haven't read Brandon Sanderson stuff, read Brandon Sanderson stuff. He's a good writer. Great world builder. Um, got this, Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims by Rush Limbaugh. Whatever you think about Rush Limbaugh, these books are popular. Uh, he wrote three uh, books, real good condition, real popular in sort of conservative circles. Well-made books, at least. Uh, there's three of them. I can flip these for 5 to $10 a piece on Facebook Marketplace to local homeschool and some local groups. So that's the plan there. Big find at the thrift store yesterday. Big find. Huge. Alien. This is the book to the movie. This book was with, from the Science Fiction Book Club. Uh, they came out with books in the late 70s throughout the 70s i've got a handful of them i actually uh came across a few at the last the not the last library book sale but the previous one somebody who was apparently a member and kept their books in really good condition that set that set but that collection has the first edition star wars hello juanita you're the first person ever to comment on a strut live stream so, hi Juanita. So, anyway. Uh, so, Alien. This is a $50 to $60 book. 
maybe at low end 30 maybe but this first edition this is the first edition this is one of the few times where a book club edition of a book is the true first edition first printing usually that's not the case with a lot of books this case this is what it is anyway uh alien battle and dean foster uh, the science fiction book club the really valuable one in this from the f science fiction book club is the first Star Wars book uh, From the adventures of Luke Skywalker. That's a hundred dollar book easy every time I've found it once and I found like the first edition second printing a Couple times once I believe and that was like a fifty sixty dollar book. But anyway alien uh, Fifty dollar book easy hardcover good uh, uh, the Dust jacket's a little rough, but that's okay. Thankfully, the sticker they put on it didn't peel any paper off. That's always annoying when thrift stores do that, but that's the way it is. So, got that going. Okay. Estate sale finds. That's what you tuned in for, wasn't it? Boom. Laramie Original Super Soaker. I think it's I, I think it's a little busted inside. I didn't hear the air puff out. I'm gonna fill it and see. Usually these things are broken. Uh, I had one, loved it. These things were prime stuff back in the day. Uh, I was one of the only kids who had one of these. I actually had one I think before Laramie put their name on it. Um, but anyway, Super Soaker 50. Yep, I think it is. Nope, that released some pressure. So, we'll see if it works later. I'll see if it works later on. If it works, it's about 50. If it doesn't, 20 to 30. So, because uh, it's a real neat display piece. But, Super Circuit 30. There you go. Neat find. Uh, next up, we're going to go through here. Yeah, we're going to go through here. Uh... Hardcover, Stephen King, Dark Tower, Song of Susanna. Uh, I like grabbing the... There's two Stephen King series I typically grab. One is if he made a... If, the, if a movie was made from the book in the 80s, early 90s, grab the book if you get it under about two bucks. Some of them are worth a, a good bit more. Um, and... Dark Tower books. They're worth grabbing and lining up. But this one, this one, because it's a hardcover, may be worth, I may be able to sell this one by itself. I haven't looked it up yet, but I, I instinctively grabbed it at two, when it was two bucks. Um, and this one was, uh, was a dollar, Wizard in Glass, Dark Tower 4. And I think I have a lot of two or three of the, two or three of Dark Tower books that I need to kind of re rework. I've got a batch of Stephen King books and I need to kind of rework my batches um, so I can get them sold. Uh, next up, this, this fun sucker. Um, this is the History of Middle Earth. This is part of the History of Middle Earth by uh, Christopher, well, it says J.R.R. Tolkien, Christopher Tolkien took Tolkien's notes and sort of compi compile them into like an ongoing story um, that's more long and obnoxious than Lord of the Rings. I've read them. I'm not going to. I ain't got that kind of time. I'll read Lord of the Rings once a year, give or take. I already did that this year. It took, it took me a few weeks because I only read it about 30 minutes at a time or so, but I read it. Um, that story's an old friend that will always will be. This stuff, I ain't got time to do. Love you, J.R.R. Tolkien. I ain't, I ain't reading this. This is about 25 bucks. Uh, it's the hardcover. Uh, the paperback doesn't do as well, um, but the hardcover versions of these books, uh, of the, the History of Middle-Earth books, I'm going to, oh, I may actually peruse this and scan through it a little bit, but um, I ain't going to read that. I ain't got time. Uh, next up. This batch is interesting. Um, 
These were a buck a piece, so I grabbed them. I tried looking them up, but I did, there were no good results. But these are aircraft familiarization training for various military airplanes. And so uh, I am going to sell these. Hit <laughs> Windows 95. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little more research to see if I, I can, to see what I can get for them. Uh, and go from there. I, the, this is potentially worth a good bit of money. I will also only sell these domestically. I'm not putting these across uh, international sale. We'll not do it. Uh, this is 747 uh, F-18 Hornet. KC-10, DC-10. Uh, aircraft familiar with C-17 Globemaster. That's the uh, F-18 Hornet and F-117A Nighthawk. So, um, I actually need to check to make sure this... I, I can't imagine these are uh, classified in any way. So, uh, but... I'll see what I can do. We can do what I can do with them. Uh, next up, pants. Pants. Um, I actually, I'm, I need to check the size on these. I need another pair of these. Uh, I like using these as work pants, and I need to check and see if they're my size. And if they're my size and they're clean and in good shape, then I will keep these. If not, these. Uh, this this old woodland camo pants mil, uh, military issue. These are worth about. Did they have these drag clean? It was a colonel uh, uh, who I don't know if he was retired or not, but it was it was a colonel who a lot of military stuff in there, uh, but a lot of it was priced where I wasn't going to grab it. Uh, so, but uh, military pants sell decently. The older the better. I find these are 15 to 20 bucks, but if they fit, I'm keeping them because I like woodland camo pants to work around the house. So, there's that. Okay. Finally, I don't know the, the kind of the piece de resistance from that sale. Uh, gas mask. Uh, and so, have it with the canister and the shroud the kind it's a hood that goes over and a bag the bag uh this is probably 50 70 bucks give or take i got i gotta check i had a, a different version that was about a 50 dollar one uh not too long ago but uh yeah got scored another guys that was 10 bucks uh so that's that was a good find i knew immediately to grab that at least so uh that is today that was this morning it's a state sale season, and you should be getting stuff. So, uh, garage sales, estate sales around here in Georgia starting to warm up. People starting to put stuff out. Uh, my Friday mornings, what I usually do is I have a thing first thing in the morning that I do, and then I jump in my car, and I run a circuit kind of in the neighborhoods close to where I work um, to see if anybody has any signs out for Friday mornings. And then sometimes Saturday mornings, I grab a kid or two or three, and we run around my neighbor, the areas and went around where I live and those neighborhoods and see if we can't find something. So some days it's nothing. Some days I don't get back till lunch. So that is that for today. So let's get it. Hope you find some stuff. Um, oh, quick story. There were Star Wars figures at that yard, at that, at this estate sale. It was a full box of the... Darth Vader head. They were vintage figures, like 79 to 83. And there was a Millennium Falcon. Uh, the Vader head was full of figures. They wanted 200 bucks for it. I wasn't sure, because they posted a video, they posted a price. I wasn't sure about that. Well, I walk in, I see a guy come walk right out the door. But five, He got there five minutes before I did. It was a buddy of mine, um, who I've done some sales and trades with before on action figures. And he was walking out with us. Dang, got it. So, um, he knew more about the Star Wars figs than I did. Uh, 
my 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 knowledge base is pretty specific, but he knew way more, I guess, recent about it. And he said he could flip it for six, seven hundred bucks. It had it was full of figures in decent shape with the weapons. The vintage Star Wars figures, the money's in the weapons. Those things get lost really easily. They're really hard to find. Um, these figures were in decent shape. The good paint was good. Uh, the case was in good condition. So this guy probably had, had a really good find. I'm real hesitant about spending $200 on anything. And so it would have been hard for me to grab it for probably less than 50 for more than 50 uh, But knowing what he did and what he was telling me, he was like, okay, next time I see something like that, I got to pull the trigger. So he got to it first. I'm happy for him. Uh, he's a big time collector, way bigger than I am. I'm, I'm a... I'm one of those cheap end collectors. If I can't get it at a yard sale, I'm probably not going to get it. So uh, that's that's what I do. So anyway, have a good day out there. Like, comment, subscribe. Hello, Juanita. Thank you for commenting. And y'all have a good morning, good afternoon, good weekend, and get some stuff.